Hi everyone, this is Taylor Austin with Civil Engineering Academy and today we will be doing a PE Civil Water Resources Hydraulic Flow Measurement Problem. So the problem statement says the design of a new wastewater treatment facility headworks building must use raw influent flow measurement. The facility is designed to serve a new portion of a growing community with a mix of residential, commercial, and heavy industrial areas. The design engineer is to select the flow measurement device to be used. The following options are available with Q is in MGD or million gallons per day and H is in feet. So we have a 3 inch partial flume with this equation, 22.5 degree V notch weir with this equation. 4 inch Leopold lag co flume with this equation and a 60 degree V notch weir with this equation. Without exceeding the water depth of 2 feet above the bottom of the notch of the weir or the level floor of the flume, the best device to use with a peak hour design flow of 2.9 cubic feet per second is what? So, in case you have never heard or seen of a partial flume or a B-notch weir or a Leopold lag co flume, you don't really need to know what they look like for this problem, but I included some photos just to be safe. So this is what a partial flume looks like, and then this is the Leopold lag co flume. It's pretty similar to the V-notch weir, but instead at the bottom it's got this flat part. And then this is what the V-notch weir looks like, and that is the angle that was mentioned here, the 22.5 or the 60 degrees. So to solve this problem, you could look in the PE reference handbook under section PERH 6.2.5, and that is hydraulic flow measurements. This just has all the weir equations, but we won't really be using these equations because the, pro the problem pro provides us these equations to use. Um, so you could also look in sections 6.8.5, which is about primary treatment. This also has a weir loading equation, but it's more used for design of um, primary treatment in wastewater treatment, so we also don't really need any of these equations in here. So we will just use our brain and engineering judgment to solve this problem. So because we are so smart, we know that weirs are not ideal for a headworks facility. Not good. Because if we look in this V notch, if we have a flow that's going to have a lot of solids because it's wastewater, it's going to get all caught up in this V. And then that's going to restrict this height of the water flow. And ultimately, like, the water might just top over this weir. And then we'll have wastewater spilling everywhere. And that would be really gross and not good. So based on that knowledge, we can immediately eliminate B and D for the V-notch weirs, and then we really only need to solve the equations for the lag co flume and the partial flume. So let's go ahead and um, first start off with converting this design flow from cubic feet per second to MGD because that's what the equation wants. So we'll do step one, 2.9, cubic feet per second times 0.6463 million gallons per day per CFS. And this just comes from your conversion charts in the PE reference handbook. And we will get a Q equal to 1.874 MGD. Okay, perfect. So step two, we'll just plug this in to these equations and we're gonna be solving for H because we wanna know the height of the water over the flume and then compare it with our design water depth of two feet. So we're just gonna use these and we'll start with A. And 
and we get Q of 1.874 MGD equal to 0 0.6411 times H to the 1.547. We'll divide both sides by 0 0.6411. And we get 2.924 is equal to h to the 1.547. And then we'll take 1 over 1.547 on each side. And that will give us an H equal to 2.0004, which is barely above this 2 feet. So then we'll solve C, and we will get... 1.874 MGD equal to 0 0.5462 times H to the 1.547. Divide both sides by 0 0.5462. to the 1.547, take that 1 over 547, power on each side, and we are left with an H equal to 2.21897, that is greater than the two feet max water depth because we don't want to exceed two feet so c will not work and our answer is a